Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we'll be talking about the first five coffee shops that came out on Yelp when we typed coffee for Los Angeles. Today we decided to go on all day tour to hunt some of the best coffee shops in LA. You stay home, I will be the guinea pig. Here's what I did. Open the Yelp app. Search coffee location Los Angeles. Visit first five coffee shops. Grab two of the best drinks on their menu. Hands down review. We arrived here at the center of downtown Los Angeles. It's a little dark and quiet, but the sun will be coming up shortly. First coffee shop, located in downtown Los Angeles. Famous for smooth coffee, mild blend, delicious pastry, quiet residential complex. We waited until 7 a.m. to open. Coffee in the middle of residential building. Love the interior. Look at all this. A lot of early birds stopping by. Now let's take a look inside. Selling some good coffee goods. Small space, but very neat and very gorgeous interior design. Freshly baked pastries that will make your morning perfect. They also have ready to go foods and beverages. And here is the full menu. Now our barista here recommended the cloud mocha and cloud matcha. Ooh, I'm excited. Look at that strange person. I tell coffee, a lot of things tilt. Yes, that was our camera falling. Ooh, look at that beautiful latte art and that cloudy coffee foam. Very mild blending, smooth, earthy, not so much sour, strong, and bitter coffee. If you're a fan of mild coffee, this place is a must go to place. Love the fact that it's very open space, a lot of tables, and a quiet escape from DTLA. Ooh, and here we are at the second coffee shop, also located in DTLA, famous for hip vibe, unique interiors, and coffee menu. A pink thing cafe, well known as hip place. It's a small, yet a hidden gym for Los Angeles. Super jam packed and super busy in the morning. We ordered two drinks that we couldn't find anywhere else. First, Bruce Lee. Second, Red Bean Spice Latte. Enough space for 10 people to sit and enjoy coffee. And here is Bruce Lee and the Red Bean Spice Latte. As for the Red Bean Spice Latte, it was extremely mild and we loved it because we're not a fan of bitter coffee. And at the same time, flavor of beet and cinnamon with the foamy milk blend it all together very well. As for the Bruce Lee, we couldn't really tell what was so special about it from a regular cafe latte, but you'd be surprised to see how foamy and smooth it was. Love how smooth it was. Cheers! And next up, Dirt Coffee Shop is also located in downtown Los Angeles, but in the Little Tokyo neighborhood. And they're famous for the various seasonal barista customized signature coffee. And I love their unique patio design. A lot of umbrellas outside. And the giant Dutch coffee. I love it.
Their menus keep changing seasonally, and each and every barista makes his or her own unique signature menu every season. At Demi Tatsu, we ordered red bean matcha latte, pear hazelnut latte. Yes, really cool. Latte art, beautiful. Pear hazelnut latte. Just the right amount of pumpkin spice flavor. Super well balanced overall taste. And it's not always in store. Um, and then it's like one of the barista specialty and then it only comes out maybe like for a couple months and then it's gone again and it will come back again. So make sure you check it out and then come here and if they do have it and if it's available, you have to check it out. You have to drink it because this is like a coffee that you will not get anywhere else and it's one of the best drinks so far I've drank. Green tea latte tasted like it was from an actual green tea. It wasn't so sweet and it wasn't too bitter. The flavor is more full and well balanced. The best part of trying Demi Tasse coffee is that no artificial taste at all. The fourth coffee shop is Six Cents Coffee. Now we're moving to K-Town. They're famous for house-made cream coffee and the beautiful pastries and desserts. Simple and modern interior design. It is a relatively new shop and grand opening was I believe in August. And we also got a pair of Dutch coffee which I love the design and the way it looks. I love their clean display of variety of coffee bits. And the owner recommended to us the following. Ein Spanner which is a cold brew and house-made cream. And Melo, oat milk caramel latte with house-made cream. Spanner, the combination of sour cold brew with extremely smooth, creamy, and sweet foam on top and makes it so delicious. Mellow, cloudy yet robust caramel latte that tastes like a super smooth coffee version of a really delicious caramel candy. This time, we're going to Largemont, near Hollywood and Melrose. They're famous for signature cream latte, organic teas, variety of pastries, and handmade chocolate. Wow. 
cute patio for stopping by to meet your friends, cold fruit juices, pastries, teas and bars. She gave us her two most popular signature drinks. She said she studied and experimented on her own for countless times to come up with an optimal, unique taste of her own. Salted caramel latte. Coffee taste in the latte itself is mild, so it blends perfectly with a strong bipolar taste, sweet and salty. Friends, cream latte. Cream on top is indescribably delicious, like a mild vanilla ice cream and the black sugar drizzles adds a great balance among all flavors. On the way back from our half day trip, we simply cannot pass by this coffee shop in Cape Town. The Full Service Coffee Shop. It is a gas station themed coffee shop and the staff will come and take your order as you drive through the station and you will wait in the parking lot and your order will be served. We got pumpkin spice latte and takachino. Tasted great but if you want to feel a little different, have your drive through at this exclusive coffee station. And coming up next week, we will get you an on-spot review on some of the best in Los Angeles. And make sure to hit the like and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video will be coming out. We are truly grateful that everyone welcomed us to film and was kind enough to guide us through. We haven't covered on other pastries, desserts, and etc. But they all have such great options. And every coffee shop we day is following the enhanced COVID guidelines to their best of ability. Yet hanging in there to provide awesome foods and drinks for us all. So please, please, please make a visit to all these five coffee shops in LA. Give yourself a try. We love you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.